you just got the news that you're biologically age 16 years older than you actually are. That means if you're 20, your body thinks you're 36. If you're 50, you feel 66. What would go through your mind? Are you angry? Are you confused? Is there a pit in your stomach? Did your light flash before your eyes? When I got this news, I cried. It was as if someone took away two decades of my life without asking. After I accepted this news, I made it my life's passion to slow down and reverse my biological age. Over the last three years, I immersed myself in this topic, studying for 2,500 hours, reading 150 books, coming to one simple conclusion. Chronic stress stole those 16 years for me and created my premature aging. Chronic stress leads to high levels of aging, addiction, anxiety, depression, and disease. According to the American Psychology Association, 44% of Americans live in a state of chronic stress. That means that almost one out of every two people is living as if a lion is chasing them 24-7, even when they sleep. I want you guys to look to your left. That means that one of you is currently dealing with this right now. I was in a state of flight or flight every minute of every day, and now I knew I wasn't the only one. To paint the picture, I was 50 pounds overweight, balding, skin rashes, night terrors. My wife and I's marriage was on the rocks. I just lost $100,000 in income. I had a business with 50 employees counting on me, and I have two amazing children at home under the age of three. You get it. I was stressed. I'm here to tell you right now that transformation is possible. All you have to do is learn what's going on in your biology and take control of it. So let's begin. First, you have to understand what is taking place in your body. Stress is an interesting part, a very interesting evolutionary tool that helped us survive for millions of years through insane conditions and situations. I want you to imagine right now, a lion walks in the room. What do you do? Do you run? Do you hide? Do you push your neighbor and run? Or are you the person that tries to save the group? If you were the person who pushed your neighbor, that's right. Put your head down in shape. Before you make this decision, your body turned on its flight or flight response, focusing on one thing and one thing only, survival. It only takes place in a matter of seconds when your brain actually sends a message to your body telling it to sound the alarms, get the troops ready, shut the gates. The main problem with this evolutionary tool is that our brains and bodies allow small things like traffic, getting the kids ready for school, that project you at work that feels like the lion walked into the room. Now that you understand what chronic stress really is, I want you guys to take yesterday, for example. How many times did you turn on your flight or flight response or simply stress out? Maybe the barista wasn't fast enough at Starbucks. You got cut off on the highway. Or if you're like me, your little ones woke up in the middle of the night. The key is understanding what is taking place in your body so you can control it. So now that I have your attention, there are four key strategies that will help you reverse your biological age during chronic stress. They all have one thing in common, hormesis, which means a low dose of stress equals amazing biological benefits. Strategy number one, shiver more. Take cold showers. That's right, I know it just went through your mind. No way, yes way. <laughs> so when you step into the shower and you turn on that nozzle and that rush of cold water hits you smack in the middle of the eyes and the chest, what happens in your body is amazing. First, you get a stress response, just like the lion. Then you get a shot of cortisol and adrenaline, which will feel as if you drank a cup of coffee in the morning. So I recommend you do this first thing in the morning. You're gonna to wanna to work your way up to three minutes per shower, and you're gonna to wanna to take it one step at a time. So let's talk about the benefits. First, it's gonna actually increase your immunity. I haven't been sick in the last two years, and did I mention I have two little ones at home? Right? It's going to increase your libido and testosterone. That's right, higher sex drive. It's a huge bonus. It's going to make you happier, less depressed. And it's also going to improve your sleep. So the question you might have right now is, Matt, if you are stressing yourself out with a cold shower, 
How is it actually decreasing your stress? What is actually happening is just like when you go to the gym and you work out and you lift weights and you rip the muscle fibers in your, in your uh, bicep, for instance, they grow back bigger and stronger. Same thing is actually happening here. Every time you give yourself a low dose of stress, you're actually making yourself more resilient to the real stressors in the world. So tomorrow, the shivering is worth it. Strategy number two, get hot and sweaty. Hop in a sauna. If I told you right now that if you took this pill four times a week, that you would have a 40% less likelihood of all-cause mortality, and the best part is, there isn't any side effects. Who in here would not take it? It has been proven in a finished study that if you sauna for four sessions a week for 20 minutes each, that it will decrease your all-cause mortality, which is dying from any disease, and increase your longevity by 30%. So let's talk about the benefits. First, it will increase your immunity. It's going to help you with fat loss. It's going to uh, help you with aging. It's going to detoxify you. And best of all, it's going to decrease your risk of Alzheimer's, dementia, and heart disease. So tomorrow, yes, tomorrow, when you're standing in the sauna because Matt told you to, and your body tells you to step out of the sauna, after two minutes, I'm telling you, fight through it. The sweating is worth it. Strategy number three, change your relationship to food, intermittent fasting. We all have to admit that we have an intense relationship with food, and for good reason. It keeps us alive, and it's a huge part of our socialization. The problem is we have food on demand, which means we can get food whenever we want. Millions of years ago, we did not have this luxury, and sometimes we did not eat every day. It is a myth that if you don't eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and your two snacks, and your dessert before bed, that you're going to starve. If that was the case, we would have died millions of years ago. Intermittent fasting is simply not eating or drinking calories for an extended period of time, ranging from 12 to 22 hours. So what I recommend is that you guys start slow from 12 hours and work your way up. Currently, I fast for about 18 to 20 hours per day. And the benefits are astounding. Again, it's going to decrease stress by releasing endorphins into your brain. It's going to help with weight loss. It's going to increase your immunity. And best of all, it's going to decrease your risk, again, of dementia, Alzheimer's, and this time around, the big C, cancer. Some of my favorite benefits of intermittent fasting is it's given me more time, about an hour to two hours per day when I skip breakfast and lunch which if you're busy like I am, you need all the time you can get. What would you do with those extra one to two hours? Maybe go to the sauna? The second and probably the more re most researched and talked about is autophagy, which is where your good cells eat your bad cells, leaving only healthy cells a lot. And it's been proven that if this happens over time, it will actually increase your longevity. The third and last but not least is it'll change your relationship to food. No more hangry mat, which is best for everyone, and no more food addictions. So tomorrow, skip breakfast. It's worth it. Strategy number four, sleep like a baby. Get more deep sleep. It has now been proven that sleep is actually more important than working out and nutrition combined. This was a huge surprise to me because sleep used to be an afterthought. And as an entrepreneur, some of you might be able to relate to this. It was a badge of honor to not sleep. So the key here, guys, is that you've got to understand what is going on when you sleep. There's three types. The first is REM. The second is light, and the third is deep. REM sleep is actually where you're going to do most of your dreaming and memory consolidation. Light is where you go into your rest and digest mode, where you go into your rest or digest mode, and this is where you're going to spend most of your night. Deep sleep is actually the hardest to get into, but it has the biggest benefits and it has been proven to decrease stress and increase longevity. Simply, what it's doing is helping you with recovery and it's actually doing an internal cleaning. So it's, your brain is actually cleaning out all the bad junk from the day before. 
It has been proven if you don't get enough deep, deep sleep, which most of us do not, that you have a higher risk of Alzheimer's, dementia, and heart disease, and diabetes. So how do you get more deep sleep? Simply do not eat two to three hours before bed. This goes real well with intermittent fasting. The reason is, is that if you eat, your digestive system turns on, stopping the cleaning, cleaning crew from being able to come in and do its job. You're gonna to wanna to go to bed at the same time every night and create a habit. Again, so your cleaning crew knows exactly what time to come in and do what it needs to do. I, this is gonna be the hardest for everyone in this room. Stop looking at electronics 30 minutes before bed or get yourself a pair of blue blocker glasses, okay? You're gonna to wanna to make your room cold and dark. And again, that with the cold shower, take a cold shower an hour before bed. It will help you sleep better. And last but not least, track your sleep. I use this ring. There's so many different uh, companies out there that are allowed for you to do that. And what you can do is actually study how you sleep and figure out how to get more deep sleep. So tonight, sleep like a baby. It's worth it. Bonus strategy, have more sex. Yep, that's right, have more sex. So there are a lot of amazing benefits out there. So tonight, just do it. I'm telling you, it's worth it. So there are a lot of different strategies out there that will decrease stress and increase your longevity. But these are the five that have helped me with my transformation and have been the simplest to implement. If all you do is add a couple of these to your life, what's gonna happen is you're gonna live a happier, healthier, stronger life. It's made me a better husband, father, and business leader. So just remember, you are important. Do it for the ones that matter most. So right now, what I want you to do is close your eyes. You are 120 years old. I know what just went in your head. Matt, I don't wanna live in a nursing home for that long. You are 120 years old. You can walk five miles, you can do the things you love, you can live unassisted. What different decisions would you make today if you had an additional 50, 70, maybe 90 more years of healthy life? Would you go back to school? Would you switch careers? Would you spend more time with family and friends? Would you start a business? The options become endless. So I'm here today telling you that if you take control of your biology, that you can live a much healthier, happier, younger life. I wanna put a disclaimer, I am still stressed. I still have two kids under the age of three at home. I am no longer balding, no longer having skin rashes or night terrors. My wife and I's marriage is thriving. I sold the equity in my business. I'm in the healthiest shape I've ever been in my life. I'm training for the Chicago Marathon and I'm standing in front of you guys today on a TEDx stage. I am more excited about my future than ever before. And I, am, I want to challenge every single one of you to take control of your biology now. This is not just a promise. It will happen. It is biology. And it will reverse your life. Thank you.